a scientist made an experiment to find out or to ascertain how long can a frog sustain in the hot water or in the boiled water at various temperature level and after the completion of that experiment the frog died unfortunately now there is a question left behind what killed the frog what killed the frog that is the question left behind good let us try to relate these case studies into our various lives it could be in the church place it could be in the marketplace it could be in your office you name it wherever you can think of there are people we are moving along with some are in for negativity others are in for positivity but it is hardly to ascertain the good ones from the bad ones it is very hardly to get to know that we need to be very careful and my question is do we have to blame someone for our failure in life do we have to put a blame on someone or do we have to pinpoint someone by saying hey you guy you are the cause of my failure hey you madam you are the cause of my troubles do we have to pinpoint that to get the rest of the story make sure you subscribe to my youtube channel and also share this video so that people will benefit from it don't go anywhere just give me a moment i'll be right back and give you the rest of the story you will love it don't go anywhere the name still remains Jeho. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel, JDP Documentary. Thank you very much. I'll be right back. Characteristics of frogs 1. Amphibian species. They are animals that can live in both on the land and in water. Examples Frogs Toads etc etc 2 found in tropical rainforest this is an area of low climate and there is no dry season 3 permeable skin layer meaning they can absorb oxygen through their skin however it can also or it means that chemicals and other harmful things from the environment can also be absorbed. 4. Live in swampy area, an area of low-lying land that is frequently flooded or in a narrow term, a land saturated with water. 5. Great in jumping, due to the long legs and ankle bones they have, it enables them to jump at all costs without any hesitation. Thanks for watching. Welcome back to my YouTube channel, JDP Documentary. Here yeah, we write documentary about the nature, how it does play important role in our daily lives or in our society, and also documentary about the celebrities. Thanks for spending your little time with me. The name still remains Jeho. But make sure you click on the notification bell so that whenever I drop a new content, you'll be the first person to get it. And also don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel should in case you haven't subscribed. Thank you very much. Now let us get into the timeline with the rest of the story. Now the story continues. The scientist who intended to find out how long can a frog sustain in the water at various temperature level, he put a frog into a vessel filled with water and started heating the water. As the temperature of the water begins to rise, the frog adjusts its body temperature accordingly. Now we all know the basic characteristics of that of a frog. It can adjust its body temperature at various temperature level. That is one of the characteristics of the frog. The frog keeps adjusting its body temperature with the increasing temperature of the water. 
the frog was feeling comfortable in the vessel. The frog was so happy about the people surrounded. The frog was saying, hey, I'm in my comfortable zone. Let me enjoy myself. I feel so comfortable with these people surrounded me. These are all the thoughts of the frog. Just when the water is about to reach the boiling point, the frog cannot adjust anymore. At this point, the frog decides to jump out of the hot water. The frogs try to jump, but it was unable to do so because it has lost its strength in adjusting with the rising water temperature. Very soon, the frog died. What killed the frog? That is a question left behind. I know many of us will say, the boiling water. Others will also say, it is the scientist who killed the frog. But the truth about what killed the frog was its own inability to decide when to jump out of the water well that is my opinion i don't know your observation kindly let me know your observation by commenting in my comment section what killed the frog is it the scientist who intended to make the experiment is it the hot water that killed the frog or the inability of the frog not jumping out of the water because it has the capability to jump to do so but the frog was feeling so comfortable in the vessel simply because it can adjust its body temperature at various level of water temperature we all need to adjust with people in situations but we need to be sure when we need to adjust and when we need to move on there are times when we need to face the situation and take appropriate actions if we allow people to exploit us physically emotionally financially spiritually or mentally they will continue to do so let us decide when to jump let us jump while we still have the strength and never rely on any other person never trust anyone this is my message i have for you the word to the wise is enough. JDP Documentary, we create contents in the form of documentary. They're trying to put you down. Motivational messages. Tracking you down. But you're still going. Because there's treasure in you. Documentary on exposing the beauty of nature. Documentary on Lazarius. In our entertainment folder, we write a documentary for celebrities and talent management. Yes, JDP Documentary is giving out a free online tutorials on pro editing, 3D animation, graphic design, content creation, photo and video shooting for you to become a professional content creator accepted everywhere. Please kindly subscribe to our YouTube channel, share our video, make sure you click on the notification bell so as to get an update whenever we drop a new content. JDP Documentary, exposing the beauty of nature. JDP Documentary, every picture has a story to tell. Hello lovely people, thanks for spending your little time with me. If you really enjoy my video, Kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel, JDP Documentary, and also don't forget to click on the notification bell so as to get the update whenever I drop a new content. Like my video, share my video. The name still remains Amwakohene Steven. You can simply call me Jeho. 
Thank you very much. I love you all and I love to be your friend. Merci à tous.